So what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a nutritionist and personal trainer. Personal trainer? Shouldn't... Shouldn't you be, like, bigger? How dare you be so skinny? <laughs> Story time, everyone. Every so often when I tell people I'm a personal trainer, this is the reaction I get. Uh, old people, and women especially, seem to think uh, anyone who works out should look like Arnold. Why don't you look like Arnold? Are you lazy? Some kind of communist? Are you... are you gay? God damn it so much. I've had a goal for the past 10 years to get to 175, 180 pounds. I've never managed to get over 165 pounds. So I'm gonna make this video so that I never again have to explain myself to you filthy microaggressors. I'm tired of it. So here are the five reasons I can't gain weight to save my life. Meet Mark. Oh, hi Mark. This is Mark on vacation. He's never taken steroids and he probably hasn't worked out in this picture in six months. Mark is built different than me. Comprende? I hate you so goddamn much, Mark. The best is when I see Jack guys walking around at 200 pounds saying, yeah, I used to be skinny too. No, you f me. Your starting point was 160 pounds. My body space weight is 120 pounds soaking wet. I have the bone structure of an underage female Chinese gymnast. Look at that wrist, it's paper. What you're seeing right now is 35 pounds of extra muscle. This is extra. This is the big version of me. Is he sirs? He ain't sir. Despite my genetics, the cookie cutter response I get from all the smart asses of the world is eat more. I do eat more. In fact, I eat more than you. I was eating nearly 5,000 calories a day for two months straight this past fall, and I gained maybe two pounds. I'm still eating up around 3,500 calories a day, and I can't get over 155 pounds. How is this possible? Studies have shown that if you take two different humans at rest, they can burn a difference of 1,000 calories per day. So it's true that some people have faster metabolisms than others. When I fasted for nine days straight, I lost exactly two pounds every single day. That's very much at the high end of what's possible. But more importantly, my gut is toasty. <laughs> About eight years ago, I developed both IBS, the diarrhea kind, and fat malabsorption because either my pancreas, gallbladder, or liver is not working. Do you know what macronutrient contains more than double the calorie density of the others? Fat. And I'm over here, not absorbing any of it. I had to shit in a can for three days and bring it to the hospital in order to prove this. It was sweet. Do you know how easy this would be if I could just drink 3% milk or have ice cream without creating a mudslide every time? God, I love dairy. So just eat more carbs, the bros will say. They're better for gains anyway. Yeah, I know. Guess what triggers IBS? Toasty. Carbs. Most of them shoot right out of me, even the good ones. And I've even been tracking my diet rigorously for the past year, and I still haven't found much. So that's fun. So on the few occasions when I have managed to claw my way up to that 165 pounds, I always seem to be carrying with me about seven different minor injuries just to get there. It's like my tendons, ligaments, and muscles are actively fighting back, saying, we want to be skinny, don't get bigger. So they coil up and become hypertonic. I've been hypertonic basically since I was 10. I remember my jaw starting to get tense and just never letting glow, and now I have this permanent click every single time I open my jaw. Every single time. Now it's fucking everything, not just my jaw. My scalenes, my forearms, my entire head is just tight and in pain all the time. My lower legs, my hip flexors, my mid back are locked into contraction permanently. The thinner muscles feel like steel wires, the thicker muscles feel like wood planks. I've literally seen a massage therapist twice a week for the past three months and that's still not nearly enough to keep up with the shit. It's like a game of those spinning plates where I have to keep them all up in the air. Every time I get a massage on one muscle, I'm re-spinning it, getting it back on track, and then the others are, while the other ones are wobbling and starting to die, and if they fall down, that's another injury. So moral of the story is, I'm constantly getting injured. <laughs> and even when I'm not totally sidelined, I'm still never pain-free or I have some weird mobility restriction. So please, YouTube land, spare a prayer for a skinny guy, just trying to gain some weight, get some gains, help me. Like and subscribe, you bums.